I'll be uh, showing you about IBM stock and um, you can see the stock I've just googled it and um, the name of the stock is IBM common stock and um, symbol is uh, from Nasdaq which is IBM if I want to buy right now I have to pay $150 150.32 US dollars for one stock and uh, which is the current uh, it's 2nd August I'm making the video on so that's the recent price and uh, the market cap in, is in billions that means that the uh, company is very big which is brilliant um, and there's a dividend yield of 4.31 percent that's brilliant because um, you know the companies that pay dividend they that means that they are financially very strong and uh, which is a very positive sign because after paying their costs liabilities creditors they still have extra money left that extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends and uh, it's a very positive sign so uh, that's brilliant now let's look when was it formed um, I can just go to Wikipedia and I can see the box here and I can see founded in 1911 108 years ago and uh, now I want to see what the employees think about this stock I'll just simply copy this paste it here and type in indeed reviews and I want to see what the employees in indeed think about this farm let's have a look um, so I can just uh, see we have 26,000 reviews which is a lot of views and it's 3.9 star nearly four stars so it means people who work here they're very happy with it you can just read through the pros and cons everything um, you know just go down and see what people have uh, to say about it see the salaries the photos of the firm the inside of the firm the jobs they have advertised and the questions and don't forget to search it in Glassdoor as well because that's a brilliant website for reviews um, okay and um, I can have a look that in Glassdoor um, it's just loading I can look that we have nearly 50,000 reviews it's a lot of reviews to uh, judge a firm and it's 3.7 star it's a way above average that's brilliant and you just look at the amount of reviews and please uh, read through the pros the cons and everything you'll know what what's good in the firm according to employees and what's not in, good in the firm and you can see the jobs that they have listed you can see the interview questions the salaries they're paying and the benefits they're giving to their employees and the photos and everything please have a look now i want to see in just your patents i want to see if it has any patents or not so let's have a look i'll paste it exactly like that it doesn't appear like that i'll just remove this bar and click enter and i just want to say that um uh, just to make sure if this is the same form that we're looking for i'll just search in google yes it is ibm that's the same one so there could be some differences in the names don't worry you just google it and uh, the more patents a firm have the more stronger it is and the more better it is that's a positive sign to its its market um, in the market it's very strong if it has patents and um, i can see it has patents in 1995 2000 and so on 2004 but what's more important to me is do they have any recent patents in 2015 16 17 18 because that means they're still innovating so please don't um, just look at the patents look at the recent patents as well and one thing I want to point out for people who are new for patents um, we are not interested in inventors because these are people who invented but they don't have full rights I'm just looking for applicant or assignee because these are people who have full rights of the patents this is assignee this is applicant so please uh, bear that in mind and um, so look for recent patents as well 2010 okay and um, that's great and that's brilliant and um, so just go to the list yourself it's a big list and there's another one as well now I want to go to uh, Yahoo Finance and I'm just um, curious to know who the key executives are and what salaries they're getting so let's go to Yahoo Finance And I'll just paste it here IBM it doesn't appear like that let's click here no okay so you know you can just see that um, that's the one I'm looking for yeah because match the symbol click there is that the same one yes so I uh, just go to profile and uh, you can see the tick technology uh, industry full-time employees and you can see there are five key executives all of their salaries have been shown only one uh, key executive says it's not applicable that means that you know you need to find out why it's not applicable because all of their salaries have been shown so that's something to search about because the more information we have uh, you know the more trust we are able to build now let's go to macro trend and see if it 
uh, what ratios it has go to price ratio and price book ratio and then just type in symbol IBM and click there and I'll explain you briefly for people who are new to it price book ratio if it let if it's less than one that means the stock it stock is at discount it's undervalued it's cheap so it's best time to buy because it's at it is at discount if it's less than one if it's 1.5 or more than that that means stock is uh you know it no sorry if it's more than one if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets right now it's eight which means if somebody buys this stock in august 2019 they will be paying eight times more money to buy the stock the stock is eight times expensive but if i just see that in 2006 march the stock is 2.83 times more expensive so if you just go vertically up you can see people who bought in 2006 march they paid 59 dollars to buy something that was 21 dollars worth so it was nearly three times more expensive but right now it's eight times more expensive um in 2014 it's 11 times more expensive 2014 september people paid 160 dollars to buy something that was only 14 dollars worth so you know you need to be careful maybe the stock is doing brilliant but are you buying it very expensive that's something to uh think about because you can you might wait for a while or a year or two for it to come down and then decide if you want to buy because at least don't buy it very expensive even if even if the stock is doing very good so you know uh, let's go to other ratios and go to current ratio if the ratio is less than one that means stock is very risky uh you know if the ratio is um, less than one that means stock is very risky because liabilities are more than assets and that's not a good news and if the ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means that the stock is very safe there's a lot of margin of safety look for 1.5 or more than that right now it's uh, right now it's more than 1.5 that means stock is very safe it's brilliant but let's look at the consistency let's look um you know so if i just see a few months back um it's less than 1.5 that means there's not much margin of safety it's a risky stock let's look at previous trends has it ever been 1.5 or more than that okay so i can see that it has never been since 2005 up till now up till 2019 march it has never been 1.5 or more than that it has always been below 1.5 which means it's a it's a risky stock there's not much margin of safety even though the assets has has always been more than liabilities but still the mar we, we don't get the margin of safety it's a risky stock so um, you know it's up to you to decide let's go to debt equity ratio this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on long-term debt or equity um, we are looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be very safe let's look at it now it's more than 0.5 that means that the stock is very risky it's mainly operating on debt uh, then equity if you just see what's clear up you can see that the debt is like nearly three and a half times more than equity which is a which is which means that the stock is mainly operating on long-term debt and it's a risky stock so um you know it's a lot more than 0.5 let's look at the previous trend has it ever been 0.5 or less than that um so since we have data just once or twice it has been less than 0.5 but since we have data since 2005 up to now it's always been above 0.5 it's a very risky stock in terms of debt let's go to return equity i'm looking for eight percent or more than that let's have a look right now it's more than eight percent which means it's brilliant it's giving a good return but let's look at the consistency has it ever been below eight percent that's my question yes so it has never been below eight percent so it's brilliant in terms of return on equity since 2005 up till now since recent 14 years it has always been above eight percent which is brilliant 